to the city, the city would grant administration reimbursement request. This is a, an annual, uh, we get a grant from the county, uh, and Olympic uh, Environmental has handled that, the recycling part of that grant for us for the last n number of years, and I'm not quite sure how many years. I know of two for sure. Um, so this is just a continuing of the same thing. That's Count's pleasure. Second. Council Member Halsey, to speak on your motion? Yeah, that's the recycling grant and environmental resources. Take care of the recycling grant. Second. Council Member Halsey, to speak on your motion? Yeah, that's the recycling grant and Any questions or issues with from the citizens? Seeing and hearing then, welcome. Council Member Walker? Aye. Council Member Halsey? Aye. Council Member Jones? Aye. Council Member Cave? Aye. Council Member Knudsen? Aye. Council Member Putnam? Aye. Council Member Stagger? Aye. Thank you. Resolution number 42 125, approving the development agreement. Property owned by Jordan Parking LLC to finalize the right of way acquisition for the Stewart Road project. This is the um, <clears throat> this is in conjunction with purchase of the right of way for from Gordon Trucking for the Stewart Road improvements. Um, this is a ten year uh, ten year development plan for Gordon and. Uh, this was, has gone through workshop, it's also gone through uh, Public Works Committee, and it also has gone through uh, public hearing. Stability is always a great thing for a business, and I think it's a good thing for the City to get this right of way, get the road finished. So, in exchange for giving the business a clear path for the next 10 years worth of site work, it uh, seems like a win win all the way around. Any other comments from the council? Any? <coughs> Stagger, do you have anything on, on this? Concern? No, this is a long. Long out thing, and let's put this puzzle together. This is the last piece, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Any other comments from the council? Any comments from the citizens or concerns? Hearing or none, I've seen them. Well, Council Member Holden? Aye. Council Member Jones? Aye. Council Member Cave? Aye. Council Member Knudsen? Aye. Council Member Putnam? Aye. Council Member Steiger? Aye. Council Member Walker? Aye. Ordinance number 14-1858, adopting ordinance number 14-58, creating the PMC chapter 13.24, related to street assessment reimbursement agreement, the transportation system improvement. We got a public hearing on that yet? I can answer that. Um, we have 60 days to do a public hearing on this. It, it can be approved before the public hearing. That, that, that the attorney's head chief? Well, that's, that, that's what I was told, so. What? Do we have a brief description of what, what this is about? This is a latecomer's agreement for the Thornton intersection light. And this is to cover after there, the fact? Yeah, the cover, yeah, exactly. There's several businesses on Thornton that, if they're developed within the next 15 years, would have to contribute to the cost of the light. Gordon's already contributing, um, the Shell Station's already contributing, but there are other businesses that may develop, may or may not, over the next 15 years that would have to contribute later. Is there any concern from the city attorney? No, it's city policy if they'd like to have the city of the public here. 
much like a utility agreement where if you the first one to bring in power lines, anyone that comes in with a certain within a certain time <coughs> frame has to pay a percentage to the person that pays bring in first. Correct. So I guess how does council feel about passing the ordinance versus public hearing for Councilman Walker? Is this time sensitive? Yes. So if we schedule a public hearing for next week, is that enough time? Yeah. Do we have to schedule it for Monday after if we pass it that Monday we'll give you enough time at that point two weeks away? I believe so. I know. Yeah, I believe so. It has to be passed before we go out to add for Stewart Road, and we're trying to go out to add the end of this month. That's what the 24th. What they do is try and do two weeks notice. That'd be just shy of two weeks. Are you talking at a social meeting? Well, I don't have a problem passing it because if we have a public hearing and we get enough comments that there's concern, we can make a determination at that point to rescind the ordinance, right? Correct. Rather than in a position where someone can get in and absolve themselves from having to pay this, I'd rather let's get it done so that everyone that's there that could come in would be obligated to pay if we were going to keep it, even after the public hearing, because if we rescind it, then nobody's hurt anyway. So. I'm just curious whether for us, for a public hearing, if we have, were to have one, we have a fifth Monday. Uh, I'm sure that everybody really wants to come in for a fifth Monday, but we could be a special public hearing meeting only if we need to have one. <coughs> Too late. Just my comment. Council has said, Bill, my, my question is, would we go out to bid and then we have to change the situation? We wouldn't have to go out to bid again, would we? No, we, don't have, we wouldn't have to go out to bid again. All, it, all we're trying to do is we don't go out to bid. Um, the way this was explained to me uh, is that this should be in place before we go out to bid for the simple reason that there are people that we're, are going to realize that what we're doing when we go out to bid and then they will make their comments. That's why it was brought up that it should be okay, The reason I'm asking the question is there's a lot of properties on the park that are undeveloped at this point right now. And a lot of them are just waiting to get Stewart done so they can do something with their property. And I just question whether we want to leave any loopholes there that they may have some, hey, we didn't have a hearing or we have, you approved that, so now we're not subject to the late charges and whatever. I mean, I, I just want to be dang sure that we are walking and everything right on that because we could really all of a sudden have a whole bunch of people start developing on Thornton and not contributing to the unit.
I'm just council business, not the mayor's business. I, I'm looking at it from this perspective. If we're within statutory, um, you know, if we're meeting the statutory requirements, I don't really see why it's such a big deal if we just vote on it tonight. Well, I'm not saying we're not vote on it tonight. I'm saying vote on it tonight, but have a public hearing. Oh, I, oh, okay. Case. You're just trying to say when do should we have? I think Correct. we should vote for this first before we worry about having a public hearing. We got to make sure it's going to pass first. Well, well, one thing you might, one thing I would suggest would be add into this as you read it, kind of like you did with the marijuana ordinance. Add into it the date of the public hearing in the ordinance and within the motion. I don't know if you can do that in the ordinance. Yeah, I'm in the in the motion. Anyway, so we've had some discussion on it. Is there a motion to? I make a motion to pass ordinance number one four dash one eight five eight. Second. Move the I again, it's just it's one of those things. If we're meeting the statutory requirements, I think it's better to get this on board as soon as possible, so that the people putting bids out understand what's going on, people that are on those properties understand what's going on. They can come in, comment at the public hearing, let us know if it's going to hurt them in any way, and then we can decide if we want to rescind it at a later time. Um, but uh, this is a pretty standard agreement that gets put in place for utilities. Um, and so, I mean, I've never seen one for a street light before, but um, it sounds like it's a pretty standard process. Councilor Hutton? Yeah, if we pass it tonight and any of the property owners are strongly opposed to finishing the project and don't want its benefits to the light for future development on their site, they can certainly let us know. Any other comments from the council? Additional comments? Any comments from the citizens? Yes. Joe, board. 411 West Valley Highway. Yeah. Even if you have to delay that bit opening or letting, I'd have the public hearing first. I think it'd be a good move. Thank you. Well, let me ask the consequences if we were to delay. We have a chance of losing our tip money. Okay. Any other comments from the council? Roll call. Councilman Jones? Aye.